So many people have been to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival this year. And the thing is, for all the comedy, all the plays, all of that, the best performance this month in Edinburgh was Hibernian Nil, Aston Villa 5. Professor Unai does it again. My goodness. Wow. Well, hey. First day of the season, you lose 5-1 at Newcastle, right? Then you follow it. How, I mean, how do you follow that up, right? You know, you could just... The Villa of old would have, you know, folded after that. We'd have got Everton at home and just gone, oh, no, a bit meek. They're going to defend and be physical and push us around and give us one of these, you know, Buster Douglas to Mike Tyson, you know, one of them sort of things. Where did that Buster Douglas, Mike Tyson, of all the boxing references I could come up with, that was the one that came into my head. Yeah, I know Lennox Lewis, this one going way too back, way to the 90s. Anyway, Aston Villa, back in the day, a big physical David Moyes Everton team would have taught us a lesson. And again, we'd all be annoyed. And then we'd go to Europe, play someone like Rapid Vienna and go and bloody lose, wouldn't we? But that was the Villa of old. It ain't the Villa of today. And the thing is, if teams come and play against Aston Villa and they lack imagination and they're not on it with their pressing or they just try and sit back and defend, Aston Villa generally will find a way of winning. And that's exactly what they did against Everton with a big 4-0 demolition. And then tonight, following up a 4-0 with a 5-0 away result. Now, look, let's not get carried away. I get it. There's probably a bunch of people looking down the camera now screaming, mate, there's a big difference between what Scottish clubs can spend on players and what Premier League clubs can spend. I know, I get it. But that doesn't mean that there can't be shocks in football. Just look what happened with Stevenage and Aston Villa last season, right? There are there are countless examples of, you know, teams that have far greater financial resources going into games where they think they're just going to waltz to victory and then they get caught out. And guess what? Tonight, Aston Villa did not do that. Oh, no. Absolutely no way. They turned up and they got the job done. First 15 minutes, right? Hibernian fought hard, six at the back. It was looking all right. But do you know what I noticed straight away? Do you know the first thing I said to my girlfriend who was watching it with me? I said, do you know what? Look at this. And she said, what? And I said, Luca Dean is causing a lot of problems for this team, right? It was just the way Luca Dean was pushing forward, getting forward so that, you know, same as against Everton, the fullbacks pushed high up. Diaby and Mings, uh, Diaby and uh, McGinn both kind of stood back there, and Watkins there, almost like that W, yeah, like W for win. Um, so, yeah, basically, Luca Dean was getting forward every now and again, and then finally we broke through. Three assists tonight for Luca Dean, and three goals for Ollie Watkins. Exactly what you need because our left back is such a crucial part of our uh, attacking uh, prowess. About. Let me let me re, re, reword that. The left back is such a crucial part of Aston Villa attacking, right? And uh, Luca Dean, he did a great job against Everton the other day, and tonight again, a fantastic cross into Ollie Watkins, who got a fantastic header to open the scoring, set all the nerves, right? And then Ollie Watkins follows it up again with yet another header, two nil, and then um, a fantastic piece of work. The three nil came again. McGinn getting the ball and the McGinn's way to pass for Luca Dean was exceptional. And then Dean's little ball into the box again, a great ball. And there's Leon Bailey to make it 3-0. You could not ask for more from a Premier League team to go and do that uh, in the first half at Hibernian. Fantastic. Brilliant. I cannot believe Aston Villa are now a team capable of doing things like this. I still cannot believe it, even though I now should be used to it after eight or nine months of watching it under Unai Emery. But still, still to this day, I, I look on in awe at Villa doing these things. Listening to the commentators on the BBC iPlayer going, uh, I can't believe what I'm watching, mate. I can't believe it, mate. You know, you know, doing things like... This team, this team are really good. Aston Villa are seriously good because they are because it, it's amazing to watch. It's great, it's it, fantastic. Um, and then the second half again, what a fantastic goal! Paul Torres, what a ball to Luca Dean. Luca Dean with the ball into the box. Ollie Watkins for the hat trick. So great to see your left back getting a lot of confidence from pushing forward and attacking. Amazing 
to see the striker getting a hat trick, exactly what Ollie Watkins needs. If he can just get a few go goals early on this season, then he can hopefully take that on into the Premier League and start scoring for fun there as well. I really hope he can aim for 20 goals this season in the Premier League. Overall, you know, who knows what he can get in Europe. Um, so, so yeah, uh, lovely stuff from uh, the, particularly Dean and Ollie Watkins. And then also Pal Torres, you saw tonight, didn't you? That left-hand side for Aston Villa, it is where we look so dangerous. And Tyron Mings coming out of the team, obviously that is a massive loss. Pau Torres coming in, starting off with two clean sheets, starting off with being a crucial part of our attacking uh, you know, uh, play. Great to see. Uh, obviously, there will be trickier tests than what Everton offered at the weekend and what Hibernian were able to offer tonight coming up. But, but you know, look, you know, as many games as you can get, as many clean sheets as you can get. And, uh, you know, playing your way into a rhythm with your teammates is good to see because what did he do? He was sending lots of lovely balls up to uh, uh, Luca Dean. He was also progressing a lot with the ball. I, I would love to see the progression stats for tonight because I guarantee you, Lou, uh, Pau Torres is probably leading them. And uh, the one thing I keep noticing he does, I noticed it in pre-season, I noticed it at Everton, and I noticed it again tonight. He loves taking that ball forward, bypassing the midfield, and whipping it curved into Moussa Diaby's feet. Watch that pass all this season, because I think he's just going to keep going for it. It's not always working at the moment, but the more rhythm he builds with between him and Moussa Diaby, uh, the more you're going to see that come off this season and be a real... Um, important part of Aston Villa getting from back to front really, really rapidly. So, look, an absolutely amazing result. Two brilliant results. 4-0, 5-0. I mean, what more can you ask? Aston Villa are back in Europe. It's it's fantastic. You know, unlucky to Hibs. Great, great football club. Uh, you know, they're coming down to Villa Park next week. I'm sure they'll bring a lot of fans. It'll be raucous. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, just looking for them. And as we say, obviously the financial disparity is huge and it's really difficult to compete between, you know, Scottish football, you know, beyond Rangers and Celtic and what the Premier League can spend on players. That's obvious. But look, still, Aston Villa, um, fantastic show against Everton and a brilliant show tonight. What a way to get back into Europe. What a way to start. Professor Unai Emery, I say it before and I'll say it again. I will write a film to you, my mate. I will get a tattoo of you on my face. I'll, I'll, I'll write love poetry to you. The lot, whatever. Anyway, on to Burnley. Uh, a be a tougher test again. Uh, I think Burnley will be a better footballing side than what Everton were. Um, so it's going to be a tricky old test that I think, you know, if Aaron Ram Ramsey maybe gets a game as well, who knows what he'll do. Uh, but look, something else to think about as well is that Aston Villa are missing a lot of players. Jacob Ramsey uh, and uh, Alex Moreno in particular. I look forward to seeing those two uh, get back into the team, particularly Jacob Ramsey. Uh, and then also uh, Zaniolo uh, is due to uh, come in very, very soon. So a lot to look forward to with Villa. And uh, what a way to bounce back from that opening day. Horror show at Newcastle with a 4-0 and a 5-0. I love Aston Villa. Please like and subscribe. Up the mighty Villa. <laughs>